Hey guys, welcome to Turn Hill. Welcome to the place where we empower the high vibers. All right, look here. Hope all is well. This is your full moon reading in Leo. Um, I'm burning this Palo Santo for my own spirit. All right, but also for you know whoever needs it because this energy is a little bit off. Okay, and it got me a little bit aggy. Just a little bit, okay? And then also, I just did a thread on Twitter. If you're follow, if you not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, please. I'll be doing dope shit on there, okay? Um, but yeah, I just did a thread. Everybody seemed to be going through it in a little, little way. Um, the only one who had like a really positive energy was like, or they were going through a positive time. It seems like Virgo. But everybody else had some like rough stuff that they had to work through. And uh, yeah. My opinion is if it's not an earth moon is a trash moon and that's the hill that's my hill now you know what i'm saying so whatever don't at me all right but this is a full moon in leo it's a fire moon i hope you guys are enjoying it um yeah let's get into it i come to you humbly god thanking you for your divine guidance Providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with the divine will. What is it that we need to know? Oh, yeah. So that's why I'm standing, by the way. I'm standing up because I got a lot of energy going on. I'm like, oh, just in case I got to shake it up, shake it off. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like sitting down right now. So let's go. All right. Um, What's the overall energy for this moon cycle? What's the overall energy here? Thank you so much. All right, we have the four of wands coming through. This is a beautiful energy, all right? This is this is fire energy, yeah. Yeah, it is, okay? Uh, so this four of wands is an energy of happiness. It is an energy of stability, so on and so forth, which is cool, but like, what happens before that? Okay, anyway, so this is the overall energy. All this passion, all this fire, okay? Some of you guys are feeling this fire. If you're like me, the fire might be coming through as agitation, <laughs> passion, all right? So this, this uh, static, this electricity, it can manifest in different ways. It can manifest as anger. It can manifest as sexuality. You know, you might be a little bit more randy than usual, whatever the case is, all right? But that's what I'm getting here. It's like, all this fire coming up and it's depending on what you have going on already you know or yeah whatever you got going on already it, it's going to determine how this fire shows up for you okay so for me it's we'll knock them up get out you know what i'm saying that's where i'm at that's where my fire's at <laughs> all right <laughs> what was the previous energy what was the previous energy that we're coming out of Oh, okay. We have the judgment card coming through in reverse. Hmm. Mm. Things left unsaid, um, unfinished business, things like that. That's what's coming through here. All right. I want to, I want to clarify that, clarify that judgment card. Hmm. You know, what's interesting is that um, in the thread I did for all the signs on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and you can see it, but one of them was for the Cancer Zodiac, they have this energy of someone coming up and creating a whole mess because of them not stating why they were upset when they were actually upset. Um, and it was actually like a third party energy. It was a side piece who's upset. And now that whatever, whatever the case is. Anyway, this reminds me of that. Not necessarily a third party situation, but there's a situation that you might not have spoken your piece about. All right. Whether it's, Hey, I have all this passion and fire for you. I want to you so bad, you know, whatever the case is, or it's this passion of, yo, this really pissed me off when you did this, you know, whatever that fire is, we need to, we, we, it's something that we haven't spoken, we, we haven't spoken on, we haven't expressed it to the right people or person, all right, okay, this energy feels so staticky, oh my gosh, I just want to burn, okay, I have my incense going, but it's not, it's not incense in the way it's supposed to. Okay. 
what else? Hermit card coming through in reverse. It's like, oh my God. All right, be mindful of this moment because it does feel like because, because there's some things left out unsaid, we might be tempted with this fire coming up. We might be tempted to like just spill it out like verbal diarrhea. All right, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. All right. For some reason, this hermit card is giving what's inside just gets spilled out. It's like spilling out your guts. Like it's not tactful. <laughs> like it's not being done in a way where it's like, hmm, I gave it thought. And when you said A, B, and C, I, I felt D, E, and F, you know, it's not well thought out. It's not well planned. It's just like, but you just have you know and it's just like okay we need to work this shit out <laughs> we need to work it out excuse my french um <laughs> temperance car it's because it needs to get handled it needs to get handled all right <sighs> so however the universe however the universe has to like make it happen if they got to stir the pot if something got to come on television to, to trigger something in you to call this person up, if you're watching TV with someone and, and then a story comes on, a news story comes on or whatever, I don't know. And it just triggers a discussion which leads to a bigger issue, which leads to this one thing that you should have said that you've held on to is that. You know, it's divine intervention coming in and stirring up the pot so we can spill out our guts, finally get something off our chest. Mm, cause it's holding us up. Oh, what's this card that fell on the floor here? Yeah, it's holding us up. Okay. Oh, ten of cups in reverse. It's, yeah, it's holding us up. It's uh making us see. I'm starting to get antsy. <laughs> oh my god. I hope that this isn't my whole energy for this entire cycle because this would be exhausting. All right. Ten of cups. So this energy of not feeling emotionally fulfilled. Um, and spirit sees that and they're like, look. Speak your peace on this shit, oh, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go. What's next? Um, <clears throat> so what's what's up next? So this is what's coming up. This is in the current energy that we're ex experiencing, and what's emerging. Oh, and this is all for the purpose of finding this level, of, ugh, find this level, this new level of stability for ourselves with that four wands. Okay, look. Oh my gosh. Just be mindful of the arguments and, you know, things like that. I mean, sometimes things got to be said. And not all things are going to come out nice. You know what I mean? Not all things are nice, right? And there's no nice way to put certain things. And that's what it's coming through as. Like, whew. if it's an argument, then it's an argument. If it's a fight, then it's a fight. You know, that's the energy I'm getting here. It's very rah-rah. It's very rah-rah energy here. Okay. All right. So we have the Empress card coming through <clears throat> along with this four wands. So the, as I mentioned, this is what results. Mm, the standing up for oneself. Some of you guys, this is not a new situation. Right, it's an old situation that you held back on. You didn't speak on it. Some of you guys are are about to experience a new situation that reminds you of an old thing that you never spoke on. Like if you had an ex who cheated on you, and you five times and you let it ride, and then you dealing with someone else who's cheating on you or feeling like they're cheating on you. Like hold on now, I'm I let it slide with that last one. I ain't gonna let it slide with this one. Okay, all right. And then you kind of put them in their place there. Whatever the case is, something like that. <laughs> Hopefully you ain't letting nobody cheat on you five times, okay? Um, a, a better example or maybe a more common example, maybe times where you've had someone, um, you had someone who was an habit, habitual lawn stepper. There was already, they kept overstepping boundaries, you know? And you might have had a moment where you didn't allow, you didn't set the proper boundaries. And now you're meeting a new person who might be overstepping boundaries and you're starting to see that pattern. And you're like, whoa. Hold on. And they might get all the venom that you that somebody 
<laughs> that the past people was probably supposed to get, you know? So be mindful of that. These are on new situations. And I mean, that's just going to happen. It's just some of that that's happening there. Ultimately, it's a standing up for oneself, um, which needs to happen. It's just a delivery might be a little bit out of proportion is what I'm getting. Um, feeling like this happened to me, injustice, raw, everyone hear that, you know, oh, come on now, bun, you know, huh, I, I guess be mindful of that, I don't know. Like everybody ain't got to get, get the venom. Okay. Make sure be surgical with your venom. <laughs> All right. Um, this is reminding me of this one Snapple fact I've heard with snakes, baby snakes, baby venomous snakes. It's I've heard, I don't know where I heard this from. Okay. So don't, if you, if you're a snake expert, let me know, blah, blah, blah in the comments. But what I've heard, I think I've heard this. Maybe it's not naked and afraid. Baby snakes are more dangerous than the adult venomous, venomous snakes because of the adult venomous sn snakes. They know how to release their ve venom in like little spurts. They know how to manage their venom that they, that they spew. The baby snakes, they don't know the potency of their venom yet. So when they bite someone, they're releasing all their venom, which is more, which makes them more dangerous. And that's due to the snake being immature, not knowing how to use that venom. And in this case, that would be fire, right? Not knowing how to use that fire, being this baby dragon and just like, whoo, you know, and just burning everything down as opposed to using a little bit of fire here and there, you know, um, setting the boundary. That will be using your fire a little bit at a time before it blows out of proportion where now you got to blow it all down, you know. Um, snakes and dragons might be uh, <laughs> might be fitting for some of you guys. All right. I know dragon energy has been showing up for me a lot lately and snake energy actually. All right. Yeah, all right, so just be mindful of this. It feels like new territory, a new way to use your venom, um, <laughs> a new way to use your fire, okay? Now, this will not be this won't manifest as setting boundaries for everyone. I just use that as an example. Uh, that could be for some. But this is definitely your unique ways that you felt disrespected and you didn't speak up on it. And now you're going to have an opportunity or feel triggered to do so. Either you going back to the people in the past, like, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, you know, whatever, either that, or you're going to meet someone new and they're going to remind you of the people that you should have spoken to. <sighs> or it's just a, some type of happenstance that's going to trigger this moment of, hold on, hold, hold up. They really played me and I didn't say nothing, you know, it's, it's kind of a delayed anger is what I'm feeling. That was interesting. All right. Good luck. I'm exhausted already. All right. What are the blockages? Uh, let's let's uh get through this energy. Please, God. Please. Okay. Ten of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. It's necessary. Don't be afraid to say the things. Don't be afraid to ruffle some feathers or is it Russell? Is it Ruffle or Russell? Whatever. Don't be afraid to fuck up some bird feathers out here, okay? Uh, just fuck it up, okay? Because it needs to happen. Certain things need to be said. Certain people need to be put in check. Certain people are out of line, okay? We'll see. Okay? So, that needs to happen. It's a slow, it's it's a necessary process that needs to happen here. It's not the love and light part of this journey. It's pulling from your darkness, you know, in order for you to actually, oh, there we go. Hold on. Okay. Pulling from your darkness in order for you to 
protect yourself, but I also heard prepare yourself. Okay. Um, this is learning how to balance your dark and your light. All right. Um, especially for people who are in a spiritual journey, the people who have chosen to be a love warrior, a light warrior, people who have chosen to be on the light side of things and not on the dark side of things, right? Um, for those people, it's necessary. I don't feel like I have to explain this if you've already been on this journey, but I'm just going to say it for the people who do need to hear it, okay? Because the people who have gone through this journey and have chosen light, I feel like you've already experienced your own darkness. You've done shadow work, so you're familiar with that, okay? So this is for people who have not gone through, done the shadow work and stuff like that, okay? When you, in the beginning of that spiritual journey, you might feel this inclination like, oh, to be of love and light. You have to just turn the other cheek like Jesus. And no, that's not necessarily what's being asked of you. You still set proper boundaries. And you setting that proper boundary is pulling from this other side of you. It's this more masculine side, right? That as, as opposed to this receptive side. If you're overly receptive, you're just receiving whatever comes your way. That is imbalanced AF. But if you're also assertive, way too assertive and never receiving, that's imbalance AF, right? One is, is feminine, that receptive, and one is masculine, that overly mas um, that uh, overly assertive energy, right? It's about finding that balance there between your masculine and feminine. But right now it's showing up as finding a balance between your higher and your lower self or your, your lightness and your darkness, um, your higher self and your shadow. That's how it's showing up right now, all right? That's how it's manifesting. It's the same energy, this duality, this polarity that we carry. But right now it's manifesting as doing, doing something that might, that is necessary for your own protection. Even if it, you look like the bad guy, you know, not being afraid of being the bad guy sometimes if you have to protect yourself. Because in those moments, if it's you versus them, you got to choose you. And I feel like where what's being highlighted are these moments where we've chosen them over us, right? We've chosen, oh, I, I'm, I'm a people pleaser and I just want them to like me. So I'm just going to put my own desires aside, put my own opinions aside so that they like me. That's you choosing them over you, all right? I don't want to offend them and let them know that they hurt my feelings when they said this. And I don't want to show off, like show up like I'm sensitive. So I'm just going to let them keep disrespecting me. That's you putting them over you. Those days are over. Okay. And it, it led to this buildup of resentment. That's what I'm getting here. So now all this fire is built up and now we have to release it and we have to be mindful. <laughs> we have to blow off steam. Blow off steam. Okay, there we go. That's 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 the answer. Blow off steam. How do we blow off steam? How do you blow off um, energy that... How do you blow off your fire? As I mentioned, it could be anger, right? Um, you could tell people how you feel <clears throat> in, in one aspect. I mean, if that's what you need to do. Um... Obviously, as I mentioned, sexual energy that releases it. Exercise that releases it. Physical. We need to get. We need to be physical. We need to be physical. Hopefully, it's not physical like a fight, but just get physical. Okay, get in our bodies and feel that energy. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right. We need to do this because in this new chapter, you're going to run into the same people again. You're going to run into these same moments where you're going to find people either disrespecting and, and however that way was. You're going to find that again. These, 
all these people all over the world, like not everyone is cool and good people, right? So like you're going to run into these moments and you're going to have to know how to handle it, how to nip things in a bud before it becomes out of control, before it becomes a whole tower moment, before it becomes a, a, a karmic lesson. It doesn't have to be a lesson. Not all of these lessons are lessons from above, you know? Some of these lessons are simply because we weren't listening. We weren't paying attention. Now we're just repeating that shit and still being dumb as hell. Okay, so handle this. We handle this so that moving forward, we know how to handle it again. It doesn't stop us from running into assholes in the world. We won't keep running into these motherfuckers. And we're going to have to learn. We're going to get better and better every time we meet them. Um, our defenses are going to get better. Okay. Um, the interesting part about this is we're in this energy of fire and assertion. So I'm just looking at this from a standpoint of shit. So we're all just walking around with this fire. <laughs> like We're all just walking around wanting to assert ourselves. That just sounds like too many uh, freaking chiefs in the, in the circle. Is that how the saying goes? Whatever. Too many chefs in the kitchen. That's what it feels like. So there is going to be some rubs. Look, I'm going to say to myself until this thing plays out, okay? Because I ain't got time for that bullshit, okay? Um, but just, you know, it's like when you're in a, in a freaking meeting, in a work meeting, and everybody got a fucking idea. And, and everybody's like, oh, yes, and. And now they're all asserting themselves, but all saying the same things just so that they could say that they said they contributed to the meeting. Nothing gets done. You know, whatever. I'm venting. I'm sorry. It's a, that energy where it's just a whole lot of flexing because they because in some aspect of our lives, we did not flex when we were supposed to. We didn't flex on the right people. So some of you guys might just catch a stray, okay? Um, just be mindful of that. And some of you guys might deliver it. Be mindful of that. Uh, try to make sure that the venom that you're spewing is proportionate to the situation and is not this, this, uh, tidal wave of emotions that came from the past onto this poor soul in front of you who didn't who didn't deserve any of that they probably just deserved a little splash and you just said boom you take all this you take all my childhood uh, pain you take the, the 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 heartbreak you take all this so just make sure that we're not pushing all this on somebody okay or on the people who are who are new into your lives okay new coming into your life okay even if they trigger it though that's the thing because they might trigger it all right here's a practical way of working through this if you know what the situation is if this is highlighted for you and you're like all right i was disrespected in this way i was disrespected in this way Okay. What were my what were my uh blind spots there? Why did I overlook it? Why did I accept it? And what do I need to do moving forward? This could be a nice journal prompt. Moving forward, I'm not gonna act in that way again. I won't accept that. But I also won't let it blow out of proportion. How do I nip this in the bud early? And try to come up with a game plan to reprogram your response to these moments. Because in the moments of the trigger, you're not going to have that, that presence, you know, to actually say, huh, now back then I did this. So now I'm going to do that. No, you're going to be triggered. So you're going to act in your natural response. So it might be in your best interest to kind of just... Pre-plan your responses when you run into these types of situations again, because you will, okay? Um, I'm also hearing, think about the moments when you stepped out of character. Think, okay, think about the moments where you did blow up, uh, where you stepped out of character, where you let things go too far, where you let someone take it too far to the point where you might have blown up, whether externally or 
whether you exploded or imploded, whatever the case is, we all have our different ways of showing our anger. Um, okay. The implosion. Oh gosh, we, why is this reading so goddamn deep? As far as blowing up. I feel like some people might not completely resonate with that because some people do not explode. They don't bust the windows out the car. That's easily, people can easily, even from the outside say, hey, that was crazy. That was explosive. But let's say someone who is more in their, more introverted or whatever the case is, where, or whatever, their style of their fire is more implosive. That implosion could look like depression right? It can be, it can be depression because you allowed all this heaviness, all this disrespect to, to fall on you. You didn't explode on them. You actually blew up on yourself, you know, internally. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Anything else? Jesus Christ, that, that went deep. All right. What else? What are we feeling the scene? What are we feeling the scene? All right, bun, keep it together. Hold it down. Queen of Swords, King of Wands, and the Three of Wands. All right. <clears throat> and the King of Swords in reverse. All right. Um, this facing this thing head on and i just want to say this there's certain people who are extroverted and they speak their mind blah 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 it doesn't mean that you didn't have a moment or you don't have a blind spot or a moment where you felt stupid because someone did something to you and you didn't say anything it doesn't mean that you don't have those moments right so this doesn't just apply to um quieter people i don't know why i want to highlight that but anyway okay all right so we have the king of swords the queen of swords the three of wands and the king of wands this is also about okay right now it's going to feel weird this is about using tact this is, a, and using tact is being the adult snake and knowing how much venom to spew. Okay. It will bring results and it'll be surprising to see the results. But understand that this is going to be a process. You have to grow from a baby snake that spews out all the venom uh, when things got too tough or things went too far. And now you have no choice but to attack. Um, growing from that to this adult snake to know, okay, I don't have to attack. I can just signal off a warning sign with my rattle tail, right? Whatever, all right? It's like knowing how to clap back. It's a chess game, okay? It's a chess game. Okay, based on what they just did, based on how they, how they, they just tried, they tried me, okay? I'm not gonna ignore it. I'm gonna hit them with this, ah. Now you know where I stand. Mm. Now what's up? <laughs> you know? Um, and just knowing how to respond and not like allow things to build. Not allowing resentment to build. Anyway, be patient with yourself is what I'm getting at. All right, be patient with yourself as you go through this process of learning how to assert yourself in this new way, um, in this whatever this unique sector of your life is, okay? Get some smoke, smoke up in here. We would be, we will be better for it. Obviously, everything is a choice. You can continue the cycle of allowing for this disrespect or whatever, and just keep it built in. Um, I mean, that's up to you. Allow it to keep building up, but obviously, that is not suggested here. The result of this is now learning how to carry yourself and present yourself in this world in a more mature fashion. Um, and obviously when I'm talking about maturation, I'm not talking about age, right? It's maturation in your own way, okay? Whatever level you at, you just leveling up from that, okay? So that's all I'm saying now. Everyone's 
maturation is going to look different. Everyone's level of defenses are going to look different, but either way, everyone's um, mode of defending themselves is getting refined. All right. While we're all testing out our new weapons in this earthly arena, it might get a little weird though, like <laughs> because we're all just doing it. We all flexing. All right. So try if you can. This is this is an ask. It's a tall ask. Um, for me, I know me being like spiritually guided and all that, I'm going to have to do this. I am going to have to be aware of this and keep this in the forefront. Um, but if you can, try to have compassion, understanding what the collective energy is. So you're not taking too much of this personally if you do have a run-in with someone. Okay. I'll give you a quick example as to how this shows up. 30 minutes. Okay. Um, so I remember I had like a, oh, hopefully this friend ain't watching. Um, I had like a, an old buddy <clears throat> in elementary school. His old buddy in elementary school uh, was quiet and shy. Okay, fine. They felt like they were overlooked. Fine. They go away. Um, they leave the country. Then they come back to their circle of friends and they felt the need to assert themselves differently. But because they never asserted themselves around these people before, these people who might have overlooked them, overstepped boundaries because of that probably me being one of them you know what I mean I might have overstepped their boundaries whatever but because of that they came back with more more than a necessary level of fire to prove and overcompensate and make up for all the times that they should have said something and they didn't and and, and it was in moments it was in conversations that our other you know, friends or whatever would be there and say, wait, why are you responding that way to this little thing I just said, you know? And we, we had to have, we had to talk it through, talk through it. Like, okay, this is because you always wanted to say, okay, got it. All right. Well, we understand now, you know, but yeah, it's like, just being mindful of your triggers, being mindful of your triggers. It just feels like, there's just gonna be a there's gonna be a whole lot of me not talking to anybody. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a whole lot of me staying away from people until this energy plays out. Got it. Heard you. What's the next what's the next piece of advice here? What's advice? Ace of Swords in reverse. Why? Why? Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands in a verse. See, that's it, man. Oh, some of you guys. See, okay, if you're watching this, cool. Now you have awareness of the collective energy. But there's a there's way more people out here in this world who are not tapping into this collective energy, and they're just puppets of the energy, you know, and not knowing what's moving through them. So they're feeling this energy and they're feeling the need to assert themselves and they're not realizing, oh, this is not just my energy. This is the collective energy, right? And because of that, they feel vindicated. Because of that, they feel like I should move like this. So be mindful of this. It just feels very, it feels selfish. It feels a little bit selfish, for, especially for the people who are not tapped in spiritually. Just be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. Some people are not going to be thinking that clearly. That's just what it's coming down to. And, and it's just giving irrational. I was beating around the bush here. But this is what it feels like, okay? Um, it is, if you are spiritually inclined, whether you are a healer or not, your awareness of this energy and your ability to kind of transmute this anger will be helpful to the collective. 
you don't necessarily have to wait for a trigger to come to be a puppet of this energy. Your awareness of this energy and getting ahead of it with a plan, i.e., okay, this is how it's disrespected. I ain't letting that shit happen again, okay? And this is how I'm going to move moving forward. Game plan. Nip it in the bud. And be prepared for that so that you're not one of these people who are not, not tapped in and just moving. There's going to be enough of that going on right now. I feel like there's going to be enough of people just moving under this angry, fiery energy. We all need that. The more conscious people, the better. The more present people we have, the better. It doesn't mean turn the other cheek. You being prepared and being conscious and being intentional with how you move moving forward is enough to hold light. And that's all that's all we're being asked to do. Just hold hold some light. Hold some light. It's too easy to just pop off. It's too easy. It requires more strength of character for you to hold light, you know? You don't have to be a light worker to be a lighthouse, to, to hold light in a situation. It doesn't mean that you are holding light in all days, all in all ways. But let's say you find a moment where someone is moving selfishly and you understand the collective energy and you're like, oh, that's that playing out right there in front of me. Okay, well, I'm not going to indulge in that. Definitely don't indulge and enhance that energy. All right. But also, you can just show compassion and walk away from it. Distance yourself. That's enough. You ain't got to sit here and lay hands on people. Start praying for them neither, right? Let them go. Um, but it's just the, the awareness will make this energy easier for everyone involved. But everyone's not going to be aware. So it's up to you to be responsible in how you respond to people. Okay. What's next? Where's the... Oh, man. All right. I'm going to pull from the Animal Spirit deck, but I got to go and get it. Okay, so hold on. Okay. Animal spirit. Animal spirit. What y'all motherfuckers got to say? I don't know what Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. And Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. All right, this is this is what made me said. Ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for no mystery. Um, but the thing is, it just feels like there might be a kerfluffle or two, and it's just like, what the f why? If there's a reason for it. The reason is to restore the balance. Okay, um, restore the balance. So moving forward, things will be more balanced in your connections. You're going to have to learn how to spit the venom. It's not going to feel good to do, but you have to do it. So you just know how to use that weapon now. Okay? All right. <clears throat> One more. Two more. Be at home. <laughs> Wombat well, spirit. That's what I'm going to be. Okay? I'm going to be at home. I'm not dealing with this energy. Okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, look, while everybody trying to work out, work out their weapons, y'all go ahead and do that thing. All right. I ain't got time. Um, but be at home. This is, I, I don't think that's what this is saying, but, <laughs> but be, uh, this is about being more comfortable with, with this weapon, being more comfortable with using your venom. All right. Oh, that was another thing I want to say when you start to assert boundaries people are going to feel uncomfortable by that um when you are asserting boundaries and you're not used to it or whatever however you're dealing with this disrespect and you're not used to it it is going to feel weird and that's okay that just means you're doing something new and the more you flex that muscle the more you flex this uh this you practice using this weapon the more comfortable you'll be that's it all right uh dear spirit bring a, gent a gentle touch here this is talking about hey let's try to be compassionate 
Let's try to peace and love this way through, okay? Ain't all peace and love, you know what I'm saying? Pull out the thing thing if you gotta pull out the thing thing. No, I'm joking. But you feel me? Defend. But also um, understand that some people aren't going to be as uh, equipped emotionally, mentally, psychologically, as equipped as you may be, okay? <sighs> All right, I'm done. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. I'm your IG, Taryn Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. Thank you so much. Also, click the notification bell. I need to get past this number of subscribers here. I need to hit 18. I need to hit 20, but I need to break 18. I've been stuck right here because of this algorithm. Okay, so go on and share, subscribe, like, comment. This will help to boost. It costs you nothing, okay? Let's uh get the algorithm kicking in my favor again, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Much love. Peace, peace. Enjoy the vibes. Self-care. Stay away from these hoes. Um, and yeah, try to be... Try to be cool out here. All right, peace.